In our local area, our most recent homeless census told us that over 63% of the people living on the streets here in Guerneville were residents of Western Sonoma County before becoming homeless. Another 20% were permanent residents of Sonoma County. These are our local residents who've been priced out of housing. Homelessness and lack of adequate housing have a detrimental impact on health. Access to adequate food, to shelter, to transportation, these are all things that greatly impact somebody's overall health. Section 8 subsidized housing aims to make rent more affordable for qualifying low-income residents. However, it can often be challenging finding a landlord willing to accept the Section 8 voucher. If you're stressed out about not having a place to live, then you're, that's going to be your primary focus. It's a great stressor. When you're homeless, you don't have a cook stove, you don't have a way to heat food, you tend to want to eat pre-prepared meals, and you tend to want to do that in the most affordable way possible. And in America, that means fast food. You're eating sugary stuff because that's what's available. A lot of processed foods, not so much of the fresh vegetables and fruits, because you have no refrigeration, you have no way to keep it. Many who are homeless must resort to using the emergency room to address their basic health needs. When somebody is using the emergency room as their primary care home, we have a real problem. And the cost saving measure is for the healthcare system to invest in housing. Because when we house somebody, we know that within the first 90 days, their dependence on the emergency rooms decreases by over 50%. There is a clear relationship between good housing and good health. Housing, along with all the stability that, that provides, greatly impacts somebody's ability to live a long, productive, healthy life.